Hi beautiful you family and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I say a big welcome to you and happy new year to all of you. Today we are going to learn how to do a full flawless makeup. All right, beautiful you family. So let's go ahead to try to achieve this flawless makeup look. So I've already applied my primer on my face and now I'm moving on to my eyebrows. I always like to brush out my eyebrows and when I'm done with that I like to use my black eyeliner pencil to try to create or draw the shape of my eyebrow that I like and once I'm done with that I use a dark brown pencil to create like strokes in the middle of my eyebrows to you know make the shape that fits my face or the shape that I like and once I'm done with that then we will be moving down to clean it up with my concealer so keep watching and hop on the train and let's try to achieve this look together once I'm done creating the shape I will grab my um again my brush and I'll try to comb everything out so that I can um, see how my eyebrows are looking now before I use the concealer. And the concealer that I'm using is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color browns. Oh, I love this brown. So we will be using that to clean the eyebrows out. I always like to start um, shaping or cleaning my eyebrows out from the lower part. I use my flat angle brush and what I'm doing is I'm applying some of my concealer and when you're doing that you have to be very gentle with it. So beautiful you family, you use the concealer to create the um, shape or clean out your eyebrows. Um. I always, also like to use my brown eyeshadow and I usually put a little bit um, in front of my eyebrow just to, you know, make that fade in a little bit so that that. that yes, we are now moving on to do our eyeshadow and I went ahead to apply some of my concealer. Once I'm done applying my concealer, I'm using my BH Cosmetic, Cosmetics 120 Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going in with my hot pink on um, the outer part of my eye. So I'm still using my hot pink um, eyeshadow color and all that I'm doing is I'm applying it um, in the outer part of my eyelid and I will be doing the same thing for my other eye. And that is the hot pink that I'm using. Now I'm done applying the hot pink to um, both eyes and we are moving on. Let's get this eye looking so hot. So stay with me. Now I'm going in with my yellow, this yellow eyeshadow. It has a little bit of shimmer and um, placing it right here. Now I'm placing some of my yellow eyeshadow in the lower corner. And I have this um, e.l.f. eyeshadow liquid. Um, it's in the gallery color gold oh for some reason oh i cannot talk or i cannot speak so again i will be applying some of the gold eyeshadow in the um inner corner of my eye and also on top of the yellow eyeshadow that i use our eyeshadow is almost done i am just putting some of my silver glitter on top of it just you know to give it a little you know a little shine I want the eyes to pop so that is what I'm doing and as soon as we're done with that I will be going ahead to apply my foundation on my face so this is how my eye look I will um, put my falsy lashes and also my eyeliner um, on as well so I'm applying my primer on my face this is the um, LA primer 
and I know that it's giving me like a white undertone. I don't like to really use a lot on my face. I try to use a little bit. So I'm going to apply it all over my face. And once I'm done with that, I will grab my um, brush, my foundation brush, and I will spray it and start applying my cover girl all day flawless in the color true ebony on my face. All right, so go ahead and keep blending in your foundation. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using my brush to push it in. So you have to keep going because you don't want it. So I'm going ahead and using some of my beautiful bronzer concealer. I'm placing some under my eye. So I'm going ahead and using my sponge. Oh, I'm using my beauty blending sponge um, to push in my concealer and as you all know I put some of my concealer under my eye on my forehead and some on top of my nose on the bridge of my nose and also I'm, I've went ahead to finish my applying my concealer and now I am putting my um, benign powder in the color topaz okay and i'm gonna leave it there for it to bake and i will be starting doing my contouring to contour my face this is the powder that i'm using and the color is dark so i'm dabbing in some and i am looking away you guys can see where i am i'll do the same thing for this side again so keep using your brush to contour your face and that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm using my powder and the color is dark and I'm using it to contour my face. I'm going ahead to apply some of the same contouring powder on the side of my nose. Right. I'm going ahead and applying the same thing here and the side of our face. I think our face has baked enough or my face has baked enough so I'm going I can go ahead and clean it up I also have this and um, it is a bronzer and I'd like to put, place a little bit on the contour that I did now going ahead to clean out um, my face that I've been baking and I am using my brush to clean that up just take your time to make sure that you are cleaning it out right or you are blending everything right so that there are no harsh lines i am also using my black opal in the color of medium deep and i'm using that as a setting powder to go over um, my makeup to make sure that everything is well incorporated I went ahead to apply my um, falsy lashes the line if you can see yes. I use this um, 24 hour eye define it's waterproof by Ruby Kisses and um, let me hey, drum roll please da -da -da -da. now we are going to apply our blush on my face and I am using this blush and it is in the color pink and I love it. I'm going ahead to put some of my LA color bronzer. Guys, look at what it gave me. Look at that. On a dark skin girl. Okay? I am dark, but this is popping. Look at it. Look at it. All right. I'm putting some here as well. Yes. I love it. And I put some of them on my forehead as well. And the tip of my nose right there. And I'm going to put, whoa, if you want me to hook pop, you know, look at that. Look at that glow, girlfriend. Look at that. Once I'm done with that, I like to use my setting spray to spray it on my face. And it helps to, you know, keep your makeup on for a long time so that 
um, it's not too oily on my face and I want to make sure that I rock this makeup all day I'm moving on to my lips now I like to use my dark brown eyeliner pencil to um, draw a line around my lips and I'm not a big fan of lipstick I love to use uh, my lip gloss but so cute I'm pushing it and And I'm going ahead to apply some of my lip gloss. Yes. And we're going to clean out. out. I'm going ahead to clean out my lips. And I'd like to use some of my concealer to do that. Thank you, beautiful you family, for hanging out with me. So this is the complete look. This was what we were able to achieve my face is looking so flawless and this makeup is not going anywhere it is going to be staying on me all day and i just love the look it's not too much it was my birthday on that day and i was ready to head out with a very simple hairstyle and also a very simple um flawless full makeup look so thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you are new here please make sure you hit the subscription button and if you are one of my subscribers i want to say a big big thank you